Okay, I admit I've lived in this godforsaken climate my entire life. I've learned a thing or two about staying warm in the winter because perhaps like me, I love playing hockey on a frozen lake, ice fishing, snowmobiling. We love it, right? Everyone wants to talk about how it's so cold and maybe it's a time to stay inside. And I say, put on the boots and get outside because it's absolutely perfect. But of course you need to dress in layers and that means a nice flannel shirt, long underwear, I've got the snow pants on, I've got a vest underneath and a nice down parka. We've learned growing up in Minnesota to just invest in good stuff and layers, and prepare. appropriate layers. Yep. But it's not just any vest, this vest is battery operated, let me show you. It's got a little assist device here. See this little battery? That plugs into the vest and it warms your back. I think the sun is helping and no wind. And of course, a lot of people wear the felt pack, like the Sorel style boot. But one thing that really helps when you're standing on the ice all day are these electric assist insoles. They've got a little, uh, yeah, a little remote control. You actually turn up the heat. It's a learning experience. Yeah, hand warmers layering up, layering up, a lot of layers. <laughs> As for keeping your hands warm, this is the ticket. Mittens not gloves. You want to keep those fingers all nice and tight together. I'm actually really warm right now. Yeah, I haven't, even, I haven't had to bust out my hand warmers or anything yet. So stop your complaining. Get out and enjoy it, but dress right. Bill Hudson, WCCO 4 News. Bill has a lot of gadgets. <laughs> he does. Uh, Bill went on to tell us that some players were actually complaining about getting too warm. Many of them say they were overdressed for the cold.